Glück auf at the Technische Universität Bergakademie Freiberg. What is it like to start studying here as an international student? Today we are talking about this and about the buddy program we have here at our university, together with my two guests. Would you introduce yourselves? Hi, uh, I'm Alicia Oprivi and I came from Nepal and now I'm studying MBA Ivory course in Technical University of Freiberg. So this is my second semester here. I did my first semester online. So that is it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa. I study process engineering and currently writing my diploma thesis here. My first set of questions is for you. What was it like when you got your application letter from Freiberg? And what does, did it feel like to start studying in a country so far abroad? Mm, it was uh, a very big decision, I would say, because I'd never been outside Nepal. Uh, so it was mixed of all the emotions. Like I was nervous, I was excited about moving, uh, I, and there were a lot of things to do. There were a lot of paperwork, uh, applying visas and stuff. So it was like it was pretty good, I think, like nice kind of excited. So that that I would say that. <laughs> all right. When you first arrived in Freiburg, mm -hmm. what was the thing that struck you? Well, um, I think how different it was from the place I'm from. I think that was the major difference. Uh, like the thing that struck me, like was uh, it was cleaner. And then I think um, I also didn't get to experience a lot because of the Corona situation. Like you know, everything was closed. I, I could not see people for days and days. So uh, it was, yeah. So it was that. <laughs> Imagine you talk to a student from your home country mm -hmm. who also wants to study abroad in Germany. Mm -hmm. What would he or she has to prepare? Okay, so here, like this is a very big suggestion to every student. You have to, you have got to learn the language. You have got to learn this German language because it can be very difficult if you don't know the language at all, like me. <laughs> like, I didn't uh, prepare a lot. So other things, you just do it. It'll, it will be easier for you, like, after starting, uh, the steps will be easier. But for the language, it's like, if you come here like, and think that you learn after uh, going to Germany, then, yeah, it's not a good idea. Okay. <laughs> so that is, that is the thing. <laughs> you were part of the buddy program as yeah. well. What was it like to apply? Was it easy to find a buddy? Uh, it was it was all right. It was all right because when I applied, I immediately, I think within a month, I got an email from my buddy. And then she, she was very super helpful. Like, you know, she did everything, like most of the things. Even before coming here, she was like, we, had a, we used to have this. I used to ask her a lot of questions even before. And then that continued even after coming here. <laughs> so she came to pick me up. We had like we have nice dinners. We have like we exchange cultures and stuff. So there are a lot of uh, you know she has been super helpful. So party program has been a really good decision on my part. <laughs> so that also like for the international students, if you're coming here, then apply for party program. <laughs> that will also be a thing. All right. Mm -hmm. You are a mentor at the body program. What do you do as a mentor? Um, yeah, so mainly we help the international students with the language, as Anisha already said, learn the language, or have a buddy who helps <laughs> you with that. So um, we help the students enroll in the university and register at the citizen's office, because um, they are the people understand English but don't like to talk it so much. So this is where we come into place. Why are you a mentor at the Buddy Program? Um, I've been abroad myself several times, so I know that there are some difficulties when you start being in another country and want to live there. So that is why I wanted to help people and coming to my country where I know how it works. <laughs> As a Buddy, you have a lot of duties. Do you get help with those or do you have to solve every problem on your own? Uh, when you start being a mentor for the buddy program, you get the buddy guidelines and they tell you what you have to do in the first days with, the, with your buddy, with your mentees. Uh, so they are very helpful for the work. What are your fondest memories of that time? 
Um, I've had several buddies from several countries, but my first one was a guy from India and we cooked Indian and German dishes together, so we had a cultural exchange and it was pretty cool. <laughs> no, that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> For you and with you, I hope you were able to gain some insights into the buddy program here at the Technische Universität. If you want to become a part of it, we are always looking for fellow participants. You can apply via our website. Thank you very much for taking part in this talk. Thank you. And Thank you. Click off.